Hi everyone, I wanted to show you how I created this tray for my altar space. Um, first of all, I took this board, this is actually a cheese board and on the other side it says cheese and got some decorations on. Um, and I picked this up for, I think it was £3 from like my local b and I think it was. Um, and... The reason I picked this up is because I wanted a circular tray, basically, that was black and made out of wood. And obviously, I was having trouble finding the exact thing I wanted, so I decided to make my own. So what I did was obviously found what I could that was wood and circular shape, which was this cheese board. But thankfully, turned over, um, there's nothing on the bottom. So it was nice and plain, so I was able to paint it without having to sand it and try and remove the words or anything like that. So I painted the top with acrylic paint and just smoothed it down as best as I could and painted obviously around the edges as well. And you'll see I'll go all the way around the edges and I just keep going over the paint and making sure it's nice and smooth and make sure I've covered every single little bit of wood because if you miss one little tiny bit because the wood was really light and obviously I'm painting it black um, if I miss any even the tiniest spot it'll be really obvious so I want to make sure I've covered every little bit and I also want it as smooth as possible for the next step so that's why I keep going over with a wet brush um, not too wet though and just making sure I smooth the paint down like so and just get rid of any little lumps and bumps or any excess paint. I then use my heat gun to dry it off um, because I'm quite lazy and impatient and wanted it to dry off quite quickly. You could just paint the layer of paint and leave it to dry um, for a few hours. Acrylic paint does dry right quite quickly though, to be fair. Um, but if you wanted to leave it for an hour or two to be on the safe side, you could. But I just dried it with my heat gun. You could use a hairdryer as well if you haven't got a heat gun. Um, just make sure you keep moving the heat gun constantly. Don't leave it over one particular area at a time because you'll find the paint will start to bubble. Um, so you do need to keep the heat gun moving so that the heat doesn't focus on one area and affect the paint job afterwards and I was going to put two coats of paint on this but I was quite pleased actually with the layer that I did and I can't see any gaps or anything um, so in the end it only took one layer of paint although to be fair I did apply it quite quickly and um, quite thickly if you're applying the paint a little bit thinner than I did then uh, by all means add a second coat once you've dried the first coat and if you get any little lumps and bumps, just use some sandpaper just to dry off the um to sand it down and then just add another layer of paint and it'll be it'll be fine. It's no problem. And then the next step is up to you. I've decided to do a triple moon symbol, but you could paint anything you wanted on this. You could have a pentacle, you could have anything, you could have runes whatever whatever fits in with your uh, practice I know for this I'm going to actually put quite a few candles on this tray that's the whole point of making this um, so I wasn't too bothered about having um, a design that was too intricate or too detailed because I knew I wouldn't be able to see loads of it so I just went for this basic triple moon symbol and the way I drew this is I got a jar that I have um, that was the right size and drew around it because I couldn't find my compass. And then I used the same jar to draw the outer edge of the crescent moons on either side and then the inner edge of the crescent moons. Um, and then I did that in pencil and as you can see it shows up really well. Um, so that you're able to go over the design with paint later on and I decided to go over go over it with white paint um, I could have done this in silver I could have done it in gold I could have 
coloured the moon shapes in solid or leave it as outlines like I did. Um, I think if I did another one, I would add like a border around the edge. Um, but I didn't want to mess up this um, by trying to do that. I figured I'd just make a mess of it. Um, I'll have to try and find my compass so I can sort out a proper... do So I could do the circle to actually make the border. Um, next time I might add maybe a few runes or something. Um, but yeah, for now I just left it as this basic triple moon design. And again, I'm just using acrylic paint and I'm using a very thin brush. Um, it took a couple of coats to go over the uh, the black properly with the white. Um, so you'll see I'll apply one layer of paint and then apply a second layer of paint straight away just to make sure the paint's nice and opaque. And then just to tidy up any edges um, and any bits that where the lines went a bit weak, a bit wonky, I just took some more of the black paint and just painted over those. If you paint the design and you decide, decide you absolutely hate it, you could just paint another layer of paint over the top of the black. Uh, and if you found that the pattern showed through, you could always just sand the surface um, and then repaint it and then redesign it and I see one advantage to this as well and this and the reason I'm not varnishing it as well is if I did want to change the design of it instead of buying another one what I can do is just sand this down repaint uh, reapply the black and then create the new design um, you could also use um, chalkboard paint and then you can write your designs onto the tray with um, chalk. And then all you do is you use a damp cloth to wipe it off and then do a new design. So you could have this for any sort of ritual that you're doing or any particular working that you're doing. Um, then you could use a piece of chalk to draw whatever symbols you need for your particular working and then um, use it that way. I might actually do that, actually. That's that's a good idea. Um, then I took my main candle, which I always have on my altar, which is my goddess candle. And here I'm just sorting out the edges. I had to cut some wax from the top of it because the wax was pooling in the middle. Because um, this wa this candle keeps tunnelling. It's not one I made. It's one I a shop bought one. Um, and it keeps tunnelling and then what happens is the walls of the side get too high and basically the wax extinguishes the flame. Um, so what I did was I chopped off the top of the candle, like the little walls around the edge, as you can see, and it's a bit wonky. So I used my heat gun just to smooth that out, just to make it look a bit better. And then here I'm using some wax and another candle and using the wax to stick the candle to the board just to keep it in place um, it you just um, sort of move the candle later on and it'll sort of snap off um, and come off the board when you want to maneuver it um, and that's it just a very simple altar tray um, or altar tile um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Blessed be and bye for now.